enjoying life, living on the road. Well, if you are one of the unique, rare people that live full-time in your vehicle, one of the pros is that you can really enjoy life to a higher degree than the average person. So in life, always try to focus on the positive and on the value of your situation. So the value of being mobile is that you don't have to ever get stuck in rush hour because your home is always with you. And so instead of being caught in the monotony of a traffic jam, you can take a detour and go to a beach park or go to a public park or uh, do something other than the standard conforming way society is moving. You know, that's part of using your flexibility, but it's also part of using your mind. Because in life, like, you know, we tend to get caught up in what everyone else is doing. Human nature is kind of like a pack. They run in herds. And you have to be very conscious to be an individual, to think for yourself. Because you can be in your vehicle. You can have the ability to move. You can have the ability to go to a special place, even if it's just a park. But our minds, whether it's out of laziness or whether it's out of complacency or just the way they're wired... If you don't push your mind, you will stay in that traffic jam or stay in one area and you won't move. Now, certainly every time you move your car, there's a cost associated with gas and wear and tear, but you don't have to travel hundreds of miles per day. But I would encourage you to travel an extra 10 miles per day or go a different way to the same place you knew. Explore. When you explore, your mind sees new things. You know, you get a a rebirth of creativity, and that's healthy for you, and that's an adventure, and that's a a well-lived life. And what I could tell you is, there is something special about living on the road, where you can see this world through a different lens. But you have to really be conscious to take this time that you are living mobile, which may or may not last a long time, and make the most of it. You know, because even living mobile, we can get caught in a monotonous routine of staying in the same parking lots, going to the same places. And I'll I'll admit that even me at this point in my journey, being that I'm at, you know, mostly beach areas in Florida, I don't vary my routine too much. Um, But it's a reminder, you know, that um, you are fortunate from the fact that you don't need to rush. You can take your time and... You can see things that other people have to wait for the weekend to see. Because right after work, they have to go to their house. They get caught in traffic. And so take time to walk through a park and actually smell the roses. You know, yesterday I did that. I mean, I'm in Florida. uh, And I actually took time and I stopped and I smelled some of the flowers. Um, And it's... It's a discipline, it's a mindset, and it just makes you appreciate the day more. You know, in life it can be hard, but life can also be good, and how do you make your life better, is that you try to find every edge you can. I often reference like the New England Patriots were a championship sports team, and they had great players, great coaching, but one thing I always found interesting is, at times they were accused of borderline cheating, whether it's spying on the uh, uh, um, spying on the other team's defense or deflating the ball. And what I found interesting about that was even a great team always looks for an edge. They always look for what can they get a little bit extra in on so that they can increase their chances of doing great. So living mobile, what's your edge? It's that you don't have to take the same roads every day. You can take a detour at any time you want. You don't have to rush. You can stay in the park and do another lap and smell the roses. You don't have to stay in the same town. You can take a 10 minute, 15 minute drive and explore a new town. You can, again, always take a job in a different area. You can do a lot of things for a lot of different reasons, but it all ties in to the fact that you have wheels on your home But you have to have wheels on your mind. And that does take a consciousness, a focus, and an awareness that you want to maximize this experience 
of not just living cheap, which is great, not just not having to deal with a mortgage or a landlord, but also the fact that you have a rare, unique opportunity to see the world at your own pace, in your own way, which can make life a little bit better and give you an edge, okay? So uh, I encourage you, I encourage myself to to utilize your your advantages in life, you know, to maximize your best life is going to take an aware mind, a little bit of you pushing yourself, and then also disciplining yourself to be in the moment, and to look around, and to go for a walk in nature, and to, to hear the birds chirping, and to do the different things, you know, breathing fresh air in, and just uh, taking a moment to reflect on your life, and to be thankful. And so hopefully this video helped. If it did, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not. Check out my playlist and my Patreon if you're interested in supporting the channel. And uh, those are my thoughts for this morning. Make the most of your life. Make the most of your day. Why? Because if you don't design your life, someone else will design it for you. And in my experience, you are better. You are better served if you take the initiative to design your own life. Peace and love.